first of all, how do we know when anything has agency? And that's an that's an experimental research program. So you basically you hypothesize what uh, problem space it's working in, what you think its goals are, and then you do experiments to figure out what competency it has, and then you find out. Did I guess well, poorly? Do I need to make a better guess, and so on? So, uh, for example, um, uh, people have said uh, to me, well. You know, your kind of uh, panpsychist uh, almost view says that the weather should be, you know, cognitive. And I, you know, I, I say, uh, I don't say that it is or isn't because we haven't done the experiments. Do I know that uh, weather systems, let's say, let's say hurricanes or so on, do I know that they don't show habituation sensitization, that they couldn't be trained if you had the right uh, scale of, of machinery? I have no idea. But what I do know is that it's not a, um, this is not a philosophical uh, thing that we can decide arguing in an armchair. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. No, you have to do experiments and then you find out. So now the question is, okay, so what about, you know, the galaxy? What about the universe, right? Are, are these the, you know, Gaia um, ecosystems? Again, I think these are all empirical questions. Now, some of them are intractable. I, you know, we don't have the capability to do um, experiments on a, uh, on a on a planetary scale. But for example, one thing that I did try to do once was design a gravitational synapse. So design a solar system sized arrangement where masses would fly in and based on the history of masses flying in it would respond to new masses in a different way so you can do you know historicity and you can have habituation and sensitization and things like that so could you have something like that that would be very sort of ponderously slowly on an enormous scale computing something and having you know sort of simple thoughts i bet you could 